welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Love Island. So this week on Love Island, y'all voted on Farquette. Farquette is Lord Farquaad's granddaughter, I believe. Um, she's been around the block. She's been alive for a million years. Um, she's woohooed a bunch of people, you know. She's Farquette. She's a scripper. She actually works as a scripper at her ex-boyfriend's club. Now that I think about it, because she woohooed with Shrek. Um, anyways, ladies, if I were the girls right now, I would be nervous. I'm going to tell you why I'd be nervous if I were the girls. We are voting a girl off today, and we will be voting a girl on. But before we vote a girl on, a little bit into this episode, we're taking the boys and Farquet to an all-girls next-up household. Every single person in that household will be women that we'll be going to see today. So the men can scout them out first. Um, yeah. Thank you, Unicorn Forest. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Mr. Gee. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, so yeah, girly pops. Except for Farquette. Farquette has immunity today because she just got here. And, um, because look at her and her bitch. She is here to fucking be here. She's looking at Merida. She's like, mm-hmm. And you've been talking to Lou for how long? Mm-hmm. And Sirius, you've been here for how long? Mm-hmm. She said, shit, my belly hair itches. My belly hair itches. So, Farquette, who are you attracted to? We gotta see who she... She thinks Sirius is very attractive. Well, we'll stop right there, because he's right here. Now, Farquette's not a relationship girly. Um, talk to him about fantasies. Uh, she's over here talking to Merida. Fuck that. Come over here and talk to Sirius. Um, I think... I think she would just make a move on him, to be honest. She kind of seems way older than everyone, though. She's just Farquette. She is just Farquette. And look at Sirius. She's not way older than Sirius. Is he down? He looks a little flatter. Look at him scratching his... Oh my god! Just like that! Just like... Who's sleeping in the bathtub? She go, are you asleep in there, girl? Oh my god, I didn't turn the censorship mode on. Ferk. Okay, I'm gonna just have to avoid it with the trees. Where are they going? Where are they going? Oh my god, I gotta put the balls up. I gotta put the- Oh, she's woohooing! But in what manner? Here, let me just zoom out. Because it's not that bad if you zoom out. Wait, in there with- Wait, is she- Oh my god, okay, I saw it! I saw it! Okay! I'm gonna paint the picture for y'all. I'm gonna paint the picture for y'all. She's- She's, she's doing something personal, and he's watching, okay, and oh my god, Farquette, okay, enter, oh wait, no, the censorship mode is on, because look, it has her little tan bra, okay, but it's like the not, it's like the not 1000%, just like blur blur, but she doesn't have any like body parts, if that makes sense, like it's all smoothed over, um, but in what manner? <laughs> Uh, Merida, if I were you, honey, listen to me. I know you're in love with this damn machine, but, um, thank you, Lexi. Thank you, Jenny. I need you to listen to me for a second. You are going to get voted off if you don't bring back that, that energy you had when you first got here. Listen to me. Yes, listen to me. You have got to claim your man or you are going to be fucked up today, Okay. Oh, Lord. Ah! Farquette! Oh, my God. <laughs> I just threw my own hand up like that was going to do something. Shigo seems pretty solid with Genie, but in after Farquette is done farking around, um, I'm going to get her to check in with the Genie, see where they're at. Merida needs to check in with Lou. Marjorie and Red Riding Hood were being to beaning. And if one of them gets kicked off today, then that means that ends. It would almost be like a double, a double elimination in a way, even though one of them gets to set, gets to stay. You know what I mean? Um, so we need to see Marjorie and Red in the boom boom room. Hmm. Perhaps we should vote a couple into the boom boom room today. 
Meanwhile, Farquette is just, go- she w- didn't even go to the Boom Boom Room. She didn't even go to any type of private area. She went in the household bedroom. Uh, the last thing I just peeped was her peening her mouth hole, but it says she got some, some, look at him. He's all flirty. Passionate fling. What a rush. Sirius just had woohoo with a stranger and they loved every second of it. And then she's feeling confident. She said quickie with a hottie. Whoa. Not only is Farquette's latest partner a breathtakingly beautiful sim, but they also appeared to be a woohoo. Oh my god. She was leaving Farquette aching for more while satisfying all of her schmexual desires completely. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, oh no. She got the island spots. I hear dogs outside trying to kill each other. Uh, I'm gonna hope they're okay. Hot damn, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Sirius just gave her the spots, though. I don't know if it's the island that gave her the spots or what, but, I mean, she's swamp bred, so what is she thinking about? She just thought about woohooing with somebody. Marjorie, I know you were not sleeping. I know you were watching that. I know you were watching that show. Oh, my God. Are they on your coochie, girl? Oh, no. Oh, no, Farquette, and you are gorgeous. Fuck. Okay, we got to get her some orange juice. We gotta get her some, um, orange juice, please. Lord, he said he gotta take a nap after that. He said, I gotta take a nap after I just got farked. Um, thank you, Prince McGee. Thank you, Jess. Let's go. Uh, orange juice. Get some orange, orange juice before we go to Mojo. What's it called when it's a girl house? What's that called? Please, get the OG stat. What's sparkling? Casa Amor? Okay, okay. Clean! I don't know what's sparkling. I think these lights are broken. Something's broken. I don't know, but it's fine. She's drinking her orange juice and whatever. Let's see who else she's attracted to. Are you attracted to Merida? She finds Merida attractive. Thank you, Court. She finds Marjorie very attractive. Oh my god, she's gonna fuck everyone in the house. She perceives Shigo as very attractive. Okay, what about Red? She finds Red very attractive. Oh my god. She finds Lou very attractive. Okay, she finds the genie basic looking. Really? I thought she would have been all over that. <laughs> Oh, and I can't wait to see her when she gets to go with the boys to Casa Amor. Uh, do you need some more orange juice, girly? Get you a second round of orange juice. I'm nervous about your, your spots. We can't have you going to meet these women with spots. Oh, my lord. Ah! Parkway came in the house and said, I'll take care of everyone. <laughs> okay. Um, which other girls do y'all really want to focus on before we go to Casa Amor? Thank you, Lexi. Um, that you're worried about might get voted out today. We have Red. Now, the thing about Red is you either love Red or you hate Red. Oh my god, she's thinking about woohooing with Farquette. Okay, I guess we'll go try. Oh my god, and she has this little eggplant thing. Morning Dew. Red seems to be experiencing some arousing effects after waking up. Was it an erotic dream or did she wet the bed by mistake? She wet the bed thinking about Farquaad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. How about you come make her a drink, Red? Let's come make a drink. Uh, make drink for... Uh, Farquet, Marjorie, I think you might be going home, Marjorie. Marjorie, I like you, girl, and I think it's amazing that we're about halfway through the season and you've made it since the first episode. I think that's, am it's New Year's Eve again. Why is it always fucking New Year's Eve in my game? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm okay. <coughs> All right. Anyways, why don't you go make her a drink? Um, look at Red over here. She's like, she don't even care that she has the spots. Look at Red smiling at her. Red said, I've got to get a piece of that cake. 
Uh, Lou cut his finger. And look at Red laughing at him. I just really hope there's an enemies to lovers thing going on with Lou and Red. I don't know. I don't know. Um, for quiz and step aside, I'll show you how it's done. Oh, don't piss yourself, girl. Here, let me fix your needs. Um, Farquet, come over here to Red. C actually, Red, come over here to Farquet. Oh, she's talking about these bugs. Damn. Thank you, Kendrick. Let's, um, um, tell about the dream. Oh my god, yes. Tell her about the dream you had. Go tell her about the dream you had. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. Does she have crabs? I don't think so. Wait, I think her spots are gone. It was, see, the orange juice fixes it. Oh, Farquet! Oh! Farquet rejected her! She said, Red, you're cute and all, but I'm going to Casa del Amor today, and I already got some peen this morning. And then Marjorie said she was cheated on by someone she cared for and is in a jealous rage. How will she ever trust again? Oh, my God. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you, Kendrick. Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh you done fucked up, Red. You don't. The thing is, is that Farquet. Farquet ain't desperate. Just because she's attracted to every a lot of different types of people, that don't mean Farquet's desperate. Don't get it confused. And don't get it twisted. Um, Farquet just likes what she likes. And look at Marjorie all pissed the fuck. Oh, Marjorie's hugging Lou in front of Red now? She's like, how do you like that? How do you, how do you like me hugging Lou now, huh? How do you like that shit? Um, talk through issues. Uh, have the what are we talk? Yeah, why don't you go ask her what, what are you? What are you? What is this? Marjorie, you gotta ask her. You gotta ask her. She's like, so what are we? What, what are we doing here? Look at Farquaad. She's like, now I'm kind of interested, actually. She's like, you've intrigued me. She said, you're my person. I love hanging out with you. Maybe we should make it official. Oh my god, Red, you're manipulating the shit out of her. You are manipulating the shit. What the hell is this? Is that like a secret handshake? What the fuck was that? Oh my lord. <coughs> Sorry. I've been hanging around swamp ass too much. Any hoodle. Um, I've noticed that Lou keeps hanging around, uh, Barquette, but he's not gonna get a chance to talk to her until we go to Castle Amor, where Merida can't go, because he knows better than to try to talk to her here. Why are they all about to piss themselves? Is our toilet broken? We got four. Merida's over here sleeping on the couch. Merida, you're being real motherfucking boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I was real with you when you were great, and I'm gonna be real with you right- The stripes! Oh my god, there's a breakout in the house. Okay, she don't feel good. I feel bad. I feel bad for talking shit. You don't feel good, okay? You don't feel- Red is up Farquet's ass, bro. Or she's trying to be up her ass. Damn. Okay, come get you some orange juice, too. Stove is broken. I'm gonna be honest. I think everything breaks here because of when it rains. It gets everything wet. <coughs> I love Lou and Merida, but he probably likes Farquette's body hair. Ah, Farquette. Y'all, we only have seven minutes till we go to Casa Amor. Jeannie said, can we all have a drink? What is going on with your arms? Oh my God, Farquette, leave this girl alone. She desperate for you. It says, but, but from talking to an attractive sim. Okay, so she is attracted to Red, though. She says, it's a shame that society, um decided that when you talk to someone you should be facing each other Jeannie's like i'm just happy to be here still he's like i'm just happy that i can't get voted off today as you should be i need you to come check on come give a pep talk to your man see how things are going you probably need to give him um um a kiss before uh he leaves just a minute do y'all need to be reset or something? Because what the fuck is going on with their arms? I'm going to reset you, girl, because I don't like how you're how you're operating here. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Glitter Kitten. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Rachel. Um, Reset yourself, bitch. 
Get it together. Oh no, now Red's feeling sick. Farquette, you done restarted the curse of the island where everybody getting sick. Go ahead and get you some orange juice too. We're just handing out orange juice today. Fuck. It's a good thing we got it in the fridge at all times. All times. Thank you, Stella, for subscribing. Thank you, Pips McGee. Um, we are three subscribers away from the subscriber goal for the day. Oh, he loves him some Shigo. I'm going to be honest. I can kind of see um, Shigo and Jeannie potentially making it to the end, honestly. Thank you, Lexi. Um, yeah, compliment his appearance because she's not just sweet to everybody, but she is sweet to him. You know what I mean? Um, thank you, Unicorn Farts, for giving away five subs. Thank you, Glitterkin, for the galaxy. Also, for those of you who like watching, uh, like, the shooter games and, like, more intense shit, Glitterkin that just sent that galaxy, I watch her stream sometimes, and they're pretty good. So, you should follow her. Um, yeah, they're in love. He can't, he woke up and went straight back to Farquette's ass. He said, I've got to see it again. I've got, he's talking about food, looking at her. He's looking at her the way you look at a wife. He wants to wife up Farquet. She knows that she's a baddie, though. She know. Look at how he's looking at her. I ain't seen Sirius this happy this whole time. I ain't seen Sirius this happy this whole time. He said, I'm taking this one. My cousins are built like her. She's got a body on her. She has got a body on her. He had no interest in anyone. No, literally. Thank you, Kendrick. Thank you, Sheridan, for subscribing. What's wrong with you, Merida? You're pissing me off today. What's wrong with you? Literally, what's wrong? She feels embarrassed. She peed herself? Now, y'all know I'll be telling you, don't piss yourself, girl. It says you had an accident from holding it for too long. How embarrassing. Now, why'd you piss on yourself? I'm going to fix your needs for you. But I'm gonna let you be embarrassed. I'm not putting that away because why in the fuck did you do that? Hey, Red, we'd love to have you join the Garden Gnomes. What do you think? Um, talk to our manager. No thanks. He's serious about her. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? There's four bathrooms in this bitch. They're just lazy at this point. And yes, there are doors. And yes, they can get into them. Uh, before anybody asks about that either. They have doors. Um... Merida is feral like Lou. Speaking of Merida and Lou, real quick, before we go to Mojo or Casa Amor, uh, let's, um, let's go kiss him in the water really quick. Because she wants to remind him of what he's got here before he goes over there. Because they can do anything with those girls over there and the girls here aren't gonna know. So, she go won't know if I'm <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, they're in the closet! Oh my god! Oh my god, Love Island is crazy today. Farquette brought the swamp energy here. Literally. Literally. I miss where are they going? They're going to an all-girls household, and those will be the girls that are the options to vote on today. So we'll get to see kind of the girls first, and basically the guys here have the opportunity to talk to other girls. Oh my god! Amazing. Thank you, Kendrick. Thank you, Jenny. Um, thank you, Court. It's popping up today. Love Island's getting serious because Farquette got here and they're like, oh, some real competition walked in. Farquette said, that's what I'm here for, baby. She said, that's what I'm here for. Look, she's got her chest hair out, her belly hair out. She don't give a fuck. She does not give a fuck. I can tell you that much. Um, I love her. That's what I'm saying. Like, Merida, Merida, you were that girl, but then you're going to have to do something else if, uh, whoa, whoa. Thank you, Court. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you, Wholesome Ghost. You've been working out, bitch. You have been working out because, my God, and she's still sad. I think she's nervous about Lou going today. I think she is nervous about Lou going to Casa Amor with all those girls and Farquette. Like, oh my god, he got in, 
got the he got the spots too. Lou, come get you some orange juice, baby boy. My lord. Um, but yeah, Merida, you can tell she's been working out. Shit. My god. Let's get him some orange juice and then we'll be going. Um do, do, do. Merida needs to reclaim Lou. I think she's trying, but she's struggling. She is like for realsies struggling. Oh wait, his his spots went away. Okay, good. Thank you, Kendrick, for the crowns. Thank you guys for achieving the goal. It is time to go to Casa Amor with the boys and Farquet. Thank you, Bobby, for the rose. Is there like a be healthy lot trait? I wish. I freaking wish. Um. Uh, I'm excited for us to meet some of these girls. So over here is the next up household. All the boys have been moved out of it. Why are some of my girls not there? They better, um, oh, they're where we are. Great. They came over, they tried coming to our house. <laughs> Hopefully they show up back over there. Um, so let's go with... Merida doesn't get to come. Farquette gets to come. Jeannie gets to come. And Sirius gets to come. Let's go. Also, I just finished reading Fourth Wing last night. Nobody put any spoilers in here for other people or dishonor on you and dishonor on your family. We're not saying spoilers, but I will say I thoroughly enjoyed Fourth Wing. There came a point in the book where I was like, oh, I see where this is going and like, okay, cool, whatever. Wrong. I finished the book and I was shook as fuck, so... Yeah, highly recommend. Um, not Lou. Lou's here. He was the one who was doing the traveling. He was the one that I selected to travel. Thank you, Megs. Thank you. Um, so, why is he here? Thor is not supposed to be here. And I don't know why the fuck he is here. Where is the front door so we can knock on it? Come knock on the door so we can come in. Let's go to the area immediately. Oh my god, I should have. I should have. So here today, oh, is he talking to, to Barbie? Season eight, don't burn alive, please, girl. Attractiveness alert, wait, 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 wait. Attractiveness alert, wow, what a sim. Farquette Swamp just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Yasmin. That woman has so many of the qualities that make Farquette's heart race as if it were a cross-country marathon. Their beautiful features meet Farquette's desire so readily. Oh my lord. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Farquette got more than one. She said, wow, what a sim. Farquette just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment. Found themselves looking at stripper Barbie. Not her getting one of those things about stripper Barbie and Yasmin. Oh my god. Farquette, you are messy as fuck. <laughs> you are messy as fuck, Farquette. <laughs> um so let's see some of the options first before we let farquette at these people um yes yes so cute michelle uh and then um um we have season eight y'all have met season eight targaryen she is the daughter of um daenerys targaryen and the night king and then we have Tifidi, so cute. I could actually kind of see her in the genie, but I also love genie and um and um 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 um, um, um she go. We have Yasmin. Y'all have seen Yasmin before. Um, we have Stripper Barbie. This is gonna be her third show. She's been in this season. She was on a TikTok episode of Barbie Hunger Games. She won. Then she got her own special. The, the Woohoo Barbie special. And then now she's here on Love Island. So, and then we have um, Isabella, who is also super cute. Who else do we have here? I'm trying to think. Is there anybody else I'm missing? Maybe that's it. One, two, three, four, five. No, there should be one more. I don't remember who the other one is. But um, maybe we'll see her at some point. Anyways, Farquaad just wants to spread the love. She wants to spread somebody's legs what she wants to do. I don't know about love, but something. Um, She's just gonna walk straight up to the bitch. I know. 
She's she's just gonna go straight for it with stripper Barbie. Straight for it. Let's go flirt with her. Let's go um do a pickup line. Oh, stripper Barbie is feeling it. She is feeling it. They both have like similar bodies too. She's like the less thick version of Farquette. Oh my lord. Oh my lanta. Look at Farquette showing off her moves right now. Ah! <laughs> um. Well, this is fun. This is fun. Let's do a ser Lou's like, oh my god. He said, oh my god. Weren't they co-workers for like a night, I think they were. Um, but Farquaad was busy working at the time. She didn't have she didn't have time to be worried about this girl and whatever. Um obviously Farquette's gonna go gonna go woohoo with her, so have fun with that. Now I've gotta worry about Lou. Lou, what's going on with you? Farquette's taking stripper Barbie upstairs immediately. She wasted no time. Lou is standing- Oh my god, he needs to scope the area. He needs to scope the area. There's so many of them right here. They're all, like, crowding Lou right now. Um. <laughs> Ooh, look at all these gorgeous women. Scope the area, please. Oh, and season eight came out here. Good. He's looking around. He's looking around. Who do you see? Ah! Oh my god. Not every single one of them. Wait, except for, wait, I think that's all of them, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Every single one of them. Well, darn, which one, which one do we uh go for here? Hmm, I don't know which one, I gotta, which one would he vibe with? It says that him and Isabella have good compatibility. Season eight, my lord. <laughs> Pick number three, my lord. <sighs> Does he like Farquette? That is also a good question. I think Farquette would fuck his brains out. Yeah, he finds her attractive, of course. Of course. Um. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think. I think. I think I can. I think I can. I feel like he should just ask, like, two of them if they'd want to come woohoo on the beach with him. So, let's see if, um, if Tafiti, oh, it was literally, well, I clicked Tafiti first. Fuck, I thought maybe he could do more than one. Okay. Okay. She's down! I hope somebody else walks up to them and asks if they can if they can join. Cause sometimes Sims will do that. They'll ask if they can join it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Thank you, Veronica, for subscribing. I love your last name, Sparrow. Wow, this is an iconic experience for him. Look at the water. Look at there's an airplane flying through the air. They're out there. Oh my! She's got him on her shoulders! Doing a. Oh my god! Tafiti! <laughs> oh my lanta. Oh, okay, don't pull me over there. And I feel like he should ask Shell to join. Um, uh, oh, he can invite her to watch, but she can't join. Lame. Lame. Okay, you two young gentlemen. What are you doing in here? Jeannie said, I'm loyal. He said, I'm loyal. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Jenny. Um, I just watched the Lauren. <laughs> uh, what about you, Sirius? He said, my girl's upstairs. Oh my god, he should try to join Barbie and... Where are they at? Where did they go? Farquette, where are you? Oh, she's over here talking to random people. Now, Farquette, what are you doing over here? No. 
Oh my god, I just saw Feeny in the background. Get I have never seen that maneuver. Um, come check in with your man. Come come confess your attraction to him. Seriously, like Farquaad can party, I'll get dessert later. Farquaad got Barbie walking around in her, her evening attire now. Farquaad looking for a conquest. No, literally. Some random man's talking to her now. She don't give a fuck. Farquifa's texting her. Okay, you know Farquaad and Farquifa are close. If you don't know who Farquifa is, it's basically her family member. I don't remember how they're family members. Her mama, her daughter, some shit. Anyways, they're close. So, what is Farquaad to you? Are you her? I get confused. Why are you? Oh, wait. Farquaad is her daughter. Okay, Farquaad's her daughter. Yeah, or no, no, no. Farquifa's her daughter. Fuck, Jesus. Farquaad, Farquifa, you know what I'm talking about. The green one is her daughter. <clears throat> My mind be getting boggled sometimes. Okay, let's reset you because I think you're stuck over here. Do, do, do. Reset. Yeah, because she fucked Shrek. That's how she ended up with a green daughter named Farquifa. Yes, yes, it's all coming back to me. Um, Farquifa was also interested in Yasmin, so she might as well go ahead and introduce herself to her, too, while she's here. While she's available, too. Sirius, did you want to talk to anybody while you're here? Okay, Barbie's doing party tricks for him. She said, look, I can hold bottles. Interesting. Genie and who? Well, right now, he's with Shigo, and I don't think Shigo's the type of bitch that you cheat on. And he's being a good little behaved boy. And honestly, Sirius is too. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, today, one of our girls will be getting voted off. And one of these girls will be get getting voted on. Um, oh my god, Farquet, are you fucking lying to me right now? What a, wow, what a sim. Farquette just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves looking at Shell. <sighs> now Farquette. Now Farquette. She's talking to Yasmin and she's like, wait a minute. She said, wait a minute. But there's her. But there's her. But at the same time, I can see Farquette was serious. Like, he seemed real serious about her. So... She won everybody. <laughs> She said, I want samples. Oh my god. Farquet is having the best time today. She said, today is an amazing day. You might as well go ahead and introduce yourself, girl, while you're here. While you're here, go ahead and talk to everybody. You never know who's going to end up on the island tonight. My god. My god. Ugh. Farquette understood the assignment. She said, what? Is this not what? She said, let's take a shot, ladies. <laughs> not her doing a toast right now. Have serious scope. Okay, can we have everybody kind of, I'm going to put a lot of these people in a group um, so we can have them all kind of gather um, in the living room to have people scope. Season 8, you gotta get inside, girly, before you, you burn up. I'm a little worried about you out here. Oh, we can't add her. We can't add her in a group because we don't know that girl. Here, let me add a little bit of relationship with her. A little friendship so we can bring her in. Friendly acquaintances. Um, She's here to party, not meet the love of her life. It's gonna be difficult to hold Farquette down, I'm not gonna lie to you. Because she's been single this long. Something tells me she's going to stay single, but she did come on Love Island, so who knows? Who knows what may happen? Um, mm -mm -mm. I love messy Farquaad. Literally, Farquaad has never not been messy is the thing. And we've kind of shunned her for a while, which may have been a mistake, possibly, but... um. I need Sirius to scope the area. <clears throat> well, right now, Barbie's the only one in there. And now Barbie is talking to him. Why does it say Lou? Oh, I forgot Lou's out here woohooing with Tafiti. Well, how was that? How was that? He feels tense afterwards. Oh, from werewolf stuff. Public service. 
She's so happy right now. She said that was great. I can't. Well, first of all, Merida would not be happy about that. But something tells me he's been waiting to do that shit. His club behavior and everything. Mm, that just ended. Yeah, they were out here on the beach for a while. A while. The awkward staring in opposite <laughs> directions. Season 8 needs a turn. I, oh, Tinkerbell's the other one. And Fawn. Now our other two bitches show up. I've been wondering where you hoes are. I have been wondering where you hoes are. Well, they're here now. We've got Tinkerbell and we've got Fawn. Thank you guys for finally being here. Um, serious, are you gonna scope or not? Well, there's no one really in there. Well, yeah, there is. He is scoping right now, I think. Who's Fawn? She's from Pixie Hollow. She's an animal fairy. Um, he's attracted to Farquette. To he's attracted to almost all of them. All of them except Isabella. He's literally attracted to the rest of them. So the world is our oyster here. Um Farquette is feeling very flirty still. Uh, and now she's feeling a little tipsy, too. I think, I think she should try to woohoo with, uh, uh, hmm. I think she should have Shell, but then she should invite Sirius in there. Because I think he would be down. The land grab power company shut your power off. This ain't even my house. The fuck? Oh, and Shell is down too. Everybody's down today. But then, can we invite him to join? I want to invite him to join it. He's just sitting down in the corner over here. He's behaving. He don't give a fuck what Farquette does either. Can we ask him to join? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Sirius. He was waiting for Farquette to show up. He was waiting for Farquette to show up. He was being real timid last episode. Not today. Not Farquette and Shell. And, and then season eight's in there watching. Season eight said, I gotta at least watch. I gotta at least watch. I mean, season eight, you could probably be involved, I think. We could try to invite you. I don't know if they got space, but... Um, yeah, you can join. You can join too, season eight. She said, and will. Look at her little feet. And she's in there like swimwear. Lord! Farquette was not playing with Love Island at all. Thank you, Court. Thank you, British Center. Thank you, Piss McKean. Thank you, Kate. Kendrick. Take this again. Oh, yeah, I love it. We did a Patreon episode on this. <laughs> she knew what to do. What the hell is in lump of silicone? Have the genie scope. I don't think this man wants nobody except his girl, but we will have him scope. Um, but I just don't see him. I don't see him cheating on on uh, Shigo. Also, let's have him. Who's he attracted to? He said Isabella's attractive. Pretty much all. He wasn't into the Tinkerbell, but the rest of them, he's like, yeah, they're attractive. Um, he should make a resolution. Write a book. Raise a skill. Lose weight. Get a significant other. That will be his New Year's resolution. Yay! So, if he ends up asking Shigo to be his girlfriend. Thank you, Court. Thank you, Lauren. Then that will be his New Year's resolution complete. Oh, Barbie's about to be upset that Farquette's up there without her. But you're going to have to get over it. Bar like, Barbie, Farquette was not... Oh, my God. I just had to take a Pixies. I just had to take a little Pixies. Anyways. Um... Uh, Sirius is in over his head up there. Sirius is having the best day of his goddamn life right now. Uh, the best day of his life. The best day. Uh, I don't know who y'all are about to vote off. I really do not know who y'all are about to vote off tonight. He's getting beanbagged. <laughs> <laughs> not beanbagged. Where's Lou? What 
a great question. Oh, he's still, he's drinking out here with Tafiti now. He's smiling at her, drinking with her. So this is the first girl other than Merida that's really caught his eye. But if she gets voted on tonight and Merida's still there. Oh, girl, I'll fix your needs. Don't you worry. Um, um, um. Um. I think I will. Oh, wait, I just saw it. Cheat need. So she stood out here with him until she was damn near ready to piss herself. So that's interesting. Over yonder, we've got... Oh my god, he has his stamina. He's about to lose his stamina over here. It's about to end. Look, he's about at his... He's about at his wit's end. He's about to blast off here in a minute. Lord... Are we voting on or off first? First we vote off, then we vote on. So next week we'll probably be voting off a girl again, but voting on a guy. And then we'll be evened out on girls and guys um, next week. We'll still be girl heavy this week, but next week we'll be voting on a guy. And off a girl, probably. So the men might be saved next week, too. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it. You can vote off anybody. But Tafiti just came back in. Yasmin yeah, said, girl, did you just get dicked down? <laughs> did you just get uh, dicked down? The question is, can he keep up with Farquette? I think Sirius is down for the challenge. I mean, look at them in here. Look at them in here. Farquaad said, it's a party, bitches! <laughs> oh, lordy. Lordy, lord, Farquaad, you really took Love Island by storm. All right, Tasha, whenever you're ready, I'm ready to vote somebody off of the island. The options to vote off today are Red Riding Hood, uh, Marjorie, Merida, or Shigo. So, we are going to send our people back home. Thank you, Casa Amor, for giving us um, a nice evening. Thank you, Kendrick. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Series in her, I'm no ro romance bar. Yeah, I mean, they haven't gotten on an emotional level at this point. It's very all lusty. Um, so, we'll have to see if we can maybe strengthen that connection. Maybe send them to on a date next episode because he seems real into her um i think he's into her beyond a lusty level uh this is gonna be a close one folks don't forget to scroll yeah don't forget to scroll with the poll you know let's see i'm about to log into my my oh she's catching up to him my book talk account also for those of you who like reading things, um, I do have a Wattpad and I'm posting uh, chapters of a book that I'm um, like a little story I'm writing on there. It's free to use Wattpad. Um, I have it linked in my bio. So if you're looking for something fantasy like to read and want to have something to look forward to when new chapters get posted, I have the link to the story in my bio. <laughs> I think he's more serious about Farquette than she is about him. Oh, for sure. Farquette just got here on the island. She just got here um, on the island. Sims appreciate being around someone they adore. Who do you adore, Farquette? Oh, she don't piss yourself. Good lord. They came back stanky and having to piss and stuff. Wait, what's happening, Lou? Oh, no, no, no. Are you about to... Oh, no. oh he's good. He's good. Um, shout out to Tasha for restarting last week's poll for Farquette. Yes. Um, let's see. Who's leaving forever? Ugh. I hate to do it. Aw, she came and met him out here. She's like, I missed you. Go ahead and give your mans. What is she thinking about? She wants to woohoo with Lou. That's what she's thinking about right now. Well, go for it, girly. That's your man's. Um, I hope you don't get crabs. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and woohoo with him. Let's see, who am I voting off? Oh, Lord, it's close. And you know, 
Red is not in the lead. And she, yeah, there's been some weeks where people were ready to get rid of her ass. And look, I think Red's going to make it another week. The pole is up in the top left corner. The blue and white little box is a, it's a clipboard. Um, you click on that and you'll be able to vote. Lordy Lord. Team Red. Meredith's boring. Oh, they're going in here. So woohoo. I feel like after they woohoo, he probably needs to tell her, though, what he did at Casa Amor. Because this is going to be broadcasted on TV. So he probably needs to just go ahead and tell her afterwards. Um, I've missed your lives. I've been so busy packing for the move. Oh, I'm excited for you to move. I hope you're moving somewhere cool. She's not boring. She's just in love. What did he do? Um, he woohooed with another girl on the beach for like hours and then sat out there drinking with her afterwards until she left. Like, uh I think Merida is gonna be staying another week. There's a minute left on the poll. Thank you, Bernie Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Court. Lordy. Um, what does it say? Lunar Peace. Oh, there's a new moon. The great outdoors. Uh, let's go ahead and can we, can we, um, can we tell her that we like, oh, we can't even tell, admit to her because I guess they're technically not in a relationship. So he can't even tell her that um he he did it with somebody else Ooh, i guess she's gonna find out if tafiti gets voted on but i don't know who's gonna get voted on to be honest so we have 19 seconds left but it's looking like marjorie's leaving oh marjorie uh, who's oh my god farquette's in the bathroom with sirius that is her man whether she's gonna admit it or not that is her man like, look at the way, the chemistry, the chemistry. You can't tell me that that's not chemistry. You cannot convince me that there is no chemistry there. So, <sighs> okay, Red, you need to go tell Marjorie goodbye because she is going to be leaving tonight. And you know, Red was really vibing with her, and that was the first person that Red has vibed with, really. Uh, because, like, it wasn't even just, like, like, look how high their romance bar was. Like, she was really feeling her. Um, uh, I do hate that. I do, um... I do the hate that for her. Thank you, Lexi. This sucks for them. But you know what, Marjorie? If Red gets kicked off at some point, maybe y'all will hang out later. Or maybe Red will be getting dicked down by somebody else in the next episode. We never know. We never know what's gonna happen. Um. Oh, not the faces going through each other. I also think that just for old time's sake, they should go do a little woohoo really quick. Um, <sighs> Tasha, did you get all of the names for the people to vote on? With it being Tinkerbell, Fawn, um, uh, Season 8. Y'all help me out here. Y'all know my memory is shit with the ADHD. Do, do, do. They love that hot tub. They do. You did? Okay, good. Okay, good. That poll can start whenever you're ready for who's getting voted on. The unicorn part singing, Lexi. Um, their last woohoo before she goes. Red said, come here. Damn, Barbie. Yes, Tafiti. Tasha got the notepad right. Uh, I felt bad because Tasha texted me before the live too. And she was like, who all are the options tonight? And I wasn't on my computer at the time. And I was like, I can't fucking remember all of the options. I was like, uh, I'll try to text them as I think of them. And then I completely forgot. So, yeah. She just got the names without me sending them to her. Usually I try to send them to her. 
<clears throat> yes, Shell Isabella. A proper send off. I'm glad they're having one last fun time. Um uh in the hot tub. So cute. The new poll is up. Remember to scroll down before you click your vote. Remember, you can scroll down. Ooh, who do I want to see on? Let me think about who we have here. Lou. We have Jeannie. Merida. Shigo. Farquet. Um, I'm going to be honest. I kind of want... Shit, who do I want to vote on? I like season eight a lot. And I do want to see season eight, but I don't know if these people here are great for her. Jeannie, go ahead and make your girl a drink. Go ahead and make your girl a drink. Because you know she she needs one. Um, I don't know if I really want Scripper Barbie because Farquette is already a scripper. Uh, I'm going to vote... I'm literally so indecisive. There's so many good options. Fuck. Mm, either Shell or Tafiti is what I'm trying to decide between right now. Oh my god. Farquette fucks with Merida as like a friend. You're so much fun to be around. I enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. And she said, I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you get me. She likes being friends with Shigo, and she likes being friends with Merida. And she's, like, toasting to them and whatever. Oh, my God. The way he just about broke his neck to look at Farquette. She fucks with the other girls in, like, a friendly way. Farquette is just all around a great sim. A great sim. Like, she said, these are my bitches now. I love that. I love that. It looks like Tafiti is in the the lead right now by with 58%. They are partying. Farquaad, I'm so glad you're here, girl. I am so glad you're here. She goes over here talking to Lou. Sirius is literally just watching his girl right now. He loves to see her happy. He's he's flashing because one of the lights over here is broken, but he loves watching her be happy. He is, you know who he's reminding me of? He's reminding me of Grimace right now. She, he's reminding me of that Grimace attitude. Down for whatever. That's his girl. Whatever. What about Jeannie's resolution? Oh my god, yes, Jeannie. He made her a drink and she's walking around with it. Um, uh, we gotta, we gotta, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Why don't y'all come up here? Um, no, don't go up there. I guess come over here. Just come over here really quick. Do, do, do. She's drinking the drink he made for her. What is that? A soft shadow. Wow. And it's an excellent quality made by Jeannie. Okay. He's like, listen, you got to ask her. First of all, first of all, give her, give her a kiss, really, not a mistletoe kiss, fuck. We gotta give her a kiss first. Uh, and then after that, you gotta ask her if she'd like to take this a step further and be our girlfriend. Mm -mm -mm. Where the hell did she go? She go, where the hell did she go? <laughs> oh, she leaned in for the kiss. That is her man. Uh, they might make it to the end. They might make it to the end. <laughs> but then again, I was feeling that way about Lou and Merida. And I kind of still do feel that way about Lou and Merida. But at the same time, I am a little concerned about Lou Merida, considering he just fucked Tafiti, so. She said yes! Ah. Uh, 
I do like that. I do like that. Now, I wonder if anybody's going to come in here and break them up. Now she's venting to him. Listen to Shigo's complaint. But he doesn't mind her venting. He doesn't mind it at all. The poll ended, so Tafiti will be joining the island. And, um... Thank you, Chris McGee. And Marjorie will be ending, or leaving. Um, so the next time we are on Love Island, you will see Marjorie gone, and you will see Tafiti here. Per usual, we will be discussing the episode in the Discord after this. The Discord's linked in my bio. Um, it's free to join Discord. It's basically like a big group chat. Uh, thank you, Kendrick. My little fantasy story that I'm writing on Wattpad is linked in my bio if you'd like something to read and something to look forward to with new chapters being dropped every so often. Um, so yeah, I had a whole lot of fun with y'all tonight. I'm so glad Farquet is here. I'm excited about Tafiti. And I will see you tomorrow night for the Shrekiverse. I love y'all. Good night.